Let's talk about something that we loved today. Tiger Woods. He's back in our life. We followed him around. We got to see him on the seventh hole. We got to see him for the last four holes. We were pretty close. Um, Nathan, what jumped out of you? Well, I think people today are going to say Tiger's back. And I got a lot of texts saying he looks great on T. He looks great. We watched enough of him to know that this round should go down as a heroic effort because his body does not look great in any way, shape, or form. We saw him come up the hill on seven. We watched him limp down the hill on two before that. We watched him dragging his ass up 17 and 18. I mean, he, we watched him le- lowering his right shoulder to take weight. I mean, he does not look right. And I, I heard the telecast say, well, he looks big and he's, you know, he's, he, he's got all this energy on the back. Faldo's saying, no, this was a heroic round because of the way he just ground out a one under round. That could have been a plus four, plus five. Well, it also could have been a minus three or minus four. Right. He, he left shots out there. And I think to your point, the thing, I think we need to acclimate to the new normal of Tiger, yes. which is this Tiger that's recovering, still recovering yeah. from a catastrophic car accident. The thing that I felt that surprised me was a, a kind of emotion. And it is always that that weird phenomena of a sports hero meaning something p- personal and evoking, eliciting uh, like a, a an emotional response, but we kind of anticipated that the crowds would would buoy him and and be behind him. The experience of every single tee that he arrived at was a standing ovation, yeah. And every single time he arrived at a green, it was a standing ovation, and it was powerful. I mean, I I you know felt myself you know both like rooting with all of my being. For him to succeed on the holes that we watched, and we we caught a ton of it, which was yeah. really great. Um, but also just you know the, a weird like sports satisfaction. You know what I mean? It's just amazing. It, it wasn't rowdy though, was it? It no, felt it's almost the mothering though. It's the Masters, as he so. walked off eighteen through that tunnel. You know, the last vision that I have of him is him walking through that tunnel on in twenty nineteen when he wins. And, and there was just this sort of vortex of energy that carried him through. Everybody out there is just trying to will him to hang in there. Yeah, that was the difference this time because, you know, he's had these different stages of his career, right? Where he was like the young pup. And then he was like the invincible mid, you know, early mid up till 2008 guy. And then he was the putting his career and life back together guy, but still had the physical stuff. The guy we watched today it, it was really memorable. He really seemed like he had like a broken body in a lot of ways. And I don't know if you could see it on TV like we could see it in person. It was just every, because when you're there, and I hate to do that, when you're there, it's so dip. But when you're there, you can kind of watch these guys when they're not on camera, right. you know? And like we were on seven and he got up and down really fast. So he putted fast. Then he kind of walked to the side because there were two putts left. And you could see like he can't get comfortable. And I feel like, you know, as somebody who's struggled with bad back stuff over the years, I can always tell when somebody else is uncomfortable, whether it's a back or whatever. The two things that jumped out, he he definitely has a limp. Like you can see that on TV, but watching him walk downhill yeah. when you're putting more pressure on like your tibia, like that, he was clearly not comfortable with that. And then the other thing was his shoulder, his posture was different. His right shoulder kind of dips now. And we were theorizing like, you know, he fucked up his right leg and his hip. And so your posture shifts, but just watching him navigate this and his house said he shoots a minus one. He left like three shots on the table. Like even the par set, the the whole seven that we were at, he had perfect shot and it didn't quite stay up and it lipped down, but it easily, that could have been a birdie, but I, I actually think he played well today house. Yeah. Oh, he, I, he exceeded all expectations in terms of level of play. Now we, we, were, we were worried he wasn't going to be able to walk 8,000 yards. Look, he was 50 yards behind everybody coming off. The he, team. That's, that's, that's another thing. He was never in the front of the pack Always ever last. Like we watched, we walked with DJ and, uh, Colin, who was he with? and Colin Markawa. Markawa. and we were walking in stride with them and they were walking faster than us. Yeah. Like yes. Those are young guys yeah. that were just cruising down the hill. We couldn't keep up because our side was muddy. Tiger was what house 50, 
50 feet behind the, every single time? The whole day. It, it is funny that um, in terms of the pace of play, it, it kind of suited. He, he, he did yeah. have the experience of um, being, I don't recall him having to wait um, at all. And that might have been the function of Bryson and Casey dropped out. Yeah. Right. So he had a two man group in, in front of Bryson him, which we Cam felt like, oh, this is good for Tiger. He's not going to have to stand there for right. 10 minutes. I can't believe we're going to say this. Each of the last 16 Masters champions has finished the first round at 11th or better. Mm. Tiger Woods is tied for 10th. <laughs> right. The scenario for him is playing out. It is going to be 20 miles an hour tomorrow. Wind blowing with a high of 66, low of 42. That's in the afternoon. Saturday, it's going to be 17 miles an hour and high of 58, low of 39. It is possible that these next two days, as that course dries out, are just straight up survival. And we get into a Sunday sprint when everybody's nervous and Tiger Woods is hanging around the hoop. I Can agree. he do this? Well, 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 we thought when we watched him on the seventh, we were at the seventh for an hour and a half, kind of waiting for him, watching all these groups come up. And after we saw him walk up, he had to walk up the hill to seven. And then we were just like, oh, man, he's right. not going to be able to last four days. And then we saw him again on 15, 16, 17, 18. Looked the same. He's one of the most mentally tough athletes we've had in our lifetime. And I don't think he cares that he's in pain. He's like, I'm fucking finishing this. You can see it. Yeah. So we don't know. And I, honestly, maybe he doesn't know either what his um, rebound ability is, right? Like, right. He, we were he, talking about that on the way home. Like, what does he do? Is he probably he's got what he's got? Like hyperbaric chamber, hyperbaric message. <laughs> well, cryo. That, but can you bring that stuff to Augusta? I mean, he definitely has a massage for Is it, he just in an ice bath? What's he doing? Yeah, right. But he has the benefit of um, time to rest. He finished at, yeah. you know, whatever. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He finished like three o'clock. Yeah. And then, and then, so he, he doesn't go off until tomorrow afternoon. I mean, by he, the time some people listen to this, he might be like plus five. Who knows? We don't know. We just watched the dude walk 8,000 yards. The, the round one split favored the afternoon by 0.79 strokes. Which, by the way, we predicted pretty vociferously on fairway rolling yesterday. So, so tomorrow morning, Data Golf's telling us that the morning wave probably has a half a stroke advantage, but that makes his one under look even better given what, what the morning group did. Now, well, and he also caught some breaks. Like Cam Smith, who starts out plus two, starts birding everything, and then we're on the 18th watching him, and he, and he, double, he just gacks it. He yep. hits it too far, comes back, misses the All of a sudden, he's double bogeys plus four instead of plus six. Berger, who the Sharps were on, started to look really good, had momentum, did the same thing coming into 18 at three under. He doubles and falls back. Yeah. So, so people, what's it? At five is the lead. DJ never, you know, he got up there, but never like took off to a place that became unrealistic. Like, I don't think Tiger can win the tournament. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. And I don't say that as like a cut this out and put this on social. I just think him getting in the top 10. <laughs> it's not a hot take that the, the Tiger's not going to win no, the no, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I don't. I'm just not saying it in a way like, listen, I'm gonna, my no. hands are going like I'm on first take. From what I saw today, like if he finishes top 10. It's a win. It's where an after we After we're watching yes. Dustin Johnson and these dudes who are just like fucking beasts. Yes. And it's a, it's like a, Tiger just gutting it out would be like incredible. Exactly. Yes. Just just making the cut. I mean, we went through this a couple different times over the shows this week and our anticipation building for this and Tiger on, on Sunday arriving and say he's giving it a go and the practicing. We're getting some feedback that he reached the 15th green and two like, wait a minute. And then. You know, Tuesday, the press conference arrives and he confirms that he's going to play. And at that point, like the 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 reasonable expectation is. Well, the first thing, reaction was what? He's playing? Right. <laughs> no, we, we had, we'd, we'd had good signs. We would had a series of good signs I'd, starting from the week before. I'm right. Just saying, but, but this is a all. pretty recent. Yeah. yeah in the last yeah. three weeks of a thing week. was no. not on the radar. No, it was not I on was the radar. I was betting against it a month ago. But our, our reasonable expectation was not reasonable expectation. Hope. The, 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 our best hope. Please make the cut. How cool would it be if he could make the cut? And, you know, he hasn't done it yet, but the first major step towards making the cut was accomplished. And it was an extraordinary um, round of golf in terms of how sharp his ball striking was 
especially on the par threes. And how vulnerable is the wrong word? How kind of untigery he's seen because he doesn't have that aura anymore because he's it, it's. I'm trying to think when this has happened in other sports, right? Like it, my default is always to go to Larry Bird. Sorry, guys. Um, but the last <laughs> the last two years of Bird's career when he's wearing the back brace, you know, or like Jordan on the Wizards when his knees are shot and he's still putting up twenty plus a game. Like sometimes you see these great athletes at this advanced stage where now their body's kind of not cooperating with them, but they still have the mental toughness. They still have the hand eye. They still have all these things. They have the experience and all that stuff somehow trumps the broken body. And this, this happens, you know, a couple times a decade, maybe, but this one to me, that's like, that's gotta be one of the most memorable rounds he ever played. You could have told me he was going to stop on the 12th hole and just be like, my leg hurts. I, I got to pack this in. Yeah. But he had the same aura and kind of like he, he was kind of waving at the crowd, but not really. He was just kind of focused. And he looked like a guy who was like at the end of a long hike who had, you know, whose feet are covered in blisters. And is just like, I see the finish line. I'm just trying to get to the finish line. Don't talk to me. I'm not here to interact. I'm not here to socialize. Just I, I see that down there. I'm going to try to get there. And it was really cool to watch. There are 18 guys under par only. The cut line right now is, well, top 50 in ties is plus two. So you double that for tomorrow. Well, in FanDuel, the cut score is plus three or better. It's yeah. plus 120. So They're the, saying it's either going to be plus three or minus four, which means... Plus three or plus, plus four. four. If, if Even the, 76, he's going to make if it. If the wind comes up tomorrow, which you expect it to do, that cut line is going to be plus four. So I, that I, means he's got, he's got a 77 to make the cut. <laughs> 